Well, if the draft mare is the foundation stock and where it all comes from of the horse industry, of course, the three-year-old is the one of the future, the potential. And that's what we're going to see now. The Bank of Ireland, Young Irelander for three-year-olds. This Bank of Ireland, Young Irelander has been one of the great successes of recent years. It's for three-year-olds and judged 40% on the conformation of the horse and 60% on natural jumping ability. The horses are judged first for their appearance and then for how they jump naturally. The judges have always been selected carefully and jumping potential of the horses in mind. This year there were David Broom, Harvey Smith and Tommy Brennan. In this class there was one filly that really emerged as the hot favourite. She was number 34, Aussie Spa, owned by Mr. Martin Moore of Carlo and shown by his son Bobby. She's by Ozymandias out of Spa Plume, and that jump there was just magnificent. The judges awarding their marks for the ability, and watch her here again. Remember, she's on her own on the end of her rope, and she's to make all her own arrangements, no rider to assist her or guide her or help her choose her takeoff point. Schmeer that moves freely, lovely strong, clean shoulder to her. And Bobby Moore there, son of the owner, from Carlo, leading her out while the judges are making their decisions. Let's get out here and we see them right out here. So Tommy Brennan leads his co-judges, David Broom and Harvey Smith, along with secretary, Maria Wolf. And the final walk round of the horses before this very prestigious competition is decided. But that's the one they're all looking at. Aussie Spa, number 34. Yes, and indeed it is announced. Aussie Spa, number 34. This lovely three-year-old, owned by Martin Moore and shown by his son Bobby from Carlo, by Ozymandias, out of Spa. Harvey, the three-year-old that won it, what was it particularly you liked about the horse? I was a very active uh, mare and uh, full of quality. As I say, it bounced around on springs, you know, every, every leg it moved, it, it was doing everything. And when you send it down to jump fences, it just wanted to jump poles. Now, what about the standard generally? Was it up to average, better? What? Oh, I think the quality of the horse has come much better in the last two or three years. I mean, this year the standard were very, very high. I mean, when this competition first started, well, the standard wasn't so hot, but now I tell you what, it's getting really good. You would feel maybe then that it's a worthwhile competition? Oh, for sure. The best competition that ever happened to the young horses in Ireland. And then came the announcement that the winning three-year-old, Ozzy Spa, was going to be sold by public auction at Mill Street. Four thousand to get away. Four thousand anywhere. Have I four? And local auctioneer Dick Pomeroy, the man in charge, and a lot of interest because the Libyans were there and had already expressed interest in this winner of the Bank of Ireland Young Irelander. At five four in advance and five four. Are we all done? Dermot Ford there, bidding on behalf of the Libyans, who had come with twelve horses, eleven of the Irish bred. Tommy Brennan there in the hat, an underbidder. At six thousand six hundred. Are we finished? Cecil Williams from England, also an underbidder. And I tell you, once at 6-6, six, six, twice at 6-6, six, six, and for the third and last time, ladies and gentlemen, 6-6, six, six, are we all finished? Are you finished here, sir? At 6-6. Six, six. Dermot Ford. Dermot Ford is the purchaser, ladies and gentlemen, and I thank you all. Dermot very much. Ford thank buying you. the filly on behalf of the Libyans, who already at this stage have bought about seven horses to take back to Libya in their quest to build up a show-jumping team.